Hi guys, this is Levin. I'm going to show you how to map your own network drive for file sharing. So if you've ever used an iPad or an Android device, you've probably seen some applications like Notability and GoodReader that allow you to sync with Dropbox. So when you work on your iPad and make changes to something, it's automatically pushed to your Dropbox and back and forth so that you can sort of seamlessly transition files from one machine to another uh, without sending it back and forth. So there's an old protocol that these are based on called WebDAV that we actually have access to on our machines through our school network that also can talk to Sakai. So if you want to try and use that, I can show you how to do it. Um, let's, so if you go over here to your Sakai landing page, this is what I see when I normally log in, and I'll go over here and go to resources. You will go to a place first. Uh, you'll actually see this first, and this is called My Workspace. And you can see here that I've got some files that I've already uploaded. Um, if you go to Upload, Download, Multiple Resources, uh, you'll see a lot of scary instructions, but it's not actually very scary or difficult. So th this, this is how we're going to do it. You're going to go to Step 1. You're just going to copy this right here. Control-C, Copy. And then you're going to go to Windows Explorer. And it, this is just you know the file system for Windows. So if you go here and you right-click on Computer, you're going to see this right here, Map Network Drive. So click on Network Drive. That was a right click on Computer, and then a left click on Map Network Drive. And you're going to see this screen pop up, and it's going to ask you what network folder would you like to map. So this is basically going to treat uh, this Sakai storage where you can store files like, uh, like Dropbox. Uh, it's just going to become another drive on your computer, like your C drive, or if you've got a USB in, like an E drive, or your, or your CD drive, like a D drive. Um, so that's just the name of where it's going to be. You're going to paste this in here, which you see is just HTTPS Sakai.unc.eu slash dav tilde your onion. And you're going to click finish. And in some other situations, there might be one or two, like next. You might have to click next. Um, the instructions on how to do it are right here on Sakai. If you go to Windows 7, there's not much to it. And if you go and check out your machine, you'll see that you now have a new drive with all of these same files that are loaded to Sakai. So I'm going to go back to my workspace. And you see I have all these files here. And they're also the same files that are right here. So if I decide that I want to get rid of a lecture file, which is my favorite thing to do, Yes, I would like to permanently delete it. It's going to delete it. And it takes a little bit longer. You'll see it's kind of slow sometimes with your network drive. Um, so that was the file right there. And I'm going to go up here to Sakai. I'm going to refresh it. And you see it's gone. So that's pretty cool. And if I want to upload something, I'll take this file. I will paste it into my network drive. There it is. So that's now available for me to use on my iPad uh, to take notes on, just like if I loaded it into Dropbox. And it, you see it will also map to, uh, to Sakai. So you can't send links and share it the same way you would a Dropbox file. Um, but if you do have a device that can take advantage of the WebDev protocol, you can use this and hopefully that'll be useful for you. Thanks.